hello everyone welcome once again to investing with the difference so in today's episode we have a quite a few updates so please uh, stick around it will be fun uh, to see what's going on in EOS world because there's a lot of great news and uh, we are also uh, going to talk about the uh, London hackathon and what we can expect from there because it just kicked off so first of all uh, of course our introduction so we have been uh, doing a lot of community building on investing with the difference so do join us on Twitter and uh, uh, telegram channels uh, where there's a lot of conversation going on and some great stuff we are sharing because as the news flow grows it's very difficult to capture everything in uh, uh, the videos so please uh, do join us if you want to keep track of what's going on in EOS world and uh, in general what is uh, um, the day-to-day -day news so now uh, before I go to talk about EOS updates so just I'm excited to announce I think we talked about it in previous videos so we are doing this scaling blockchain event so this is the website we are launching still it's early view I'm not really uh, we are, it's not really complete because we're still working with the speakers but I'm very excited with the kind of lineup we are already uh, setting up uh, we have some great people who are already confirmed there are a lot more uh, who are in early stages of discussion and we should have our website updated very soon so we have some good stuff here going on so please plan out your uh, time if you are planning to be in uh, San Francisco hackathon which is right before this event and not only that if you are a developer who is just trying to start or you, you are get, want to get involved with EOS this is the best event because uh, we, you will learn about EOS not only just the talks but we are also bringing a lot of workshops we are trying to get people actually get uh, started on EOS development and the ideas around it and uh, now I'm going to talk about more other, more other uh, apps which are coming up and what else is happening in EOS world so stick around and let's see uh, how exciting this uh, is becoming as we go along so this is exactly the focus of this conference but before we get into EOS news and so on so what we usually do is look at the market because I think a lot of investors still care for uh, the like you know why you originally started of course uh, you want to keep your investment safe and we know, need to know what's going on so Bitcoin is kind of bouncing so let's slow go and look at uh, we are still like in a bottom formation mode again we have been around always bouncing from the 6200 6100 dollar area uh, that is what is giving some stability to the market because we are not breaking down but but what is happening in last couple of days it's uh, we are seeing very very high volatility so we saw a big uh, dip yesterday and again we are seeing some big movements today and uh, that is uh, why i always go back to the daily chart and say that uh, we should not focus on day-to-day -day hourly moves if you look at it it's pretty stable it is gaining a lot of buying in this area and that's something which is uh, keeping it stable so now let's look at EOS I think that is actually doing better which is very exciting so we have kind of broken out um, from this downtrend couple of times but this time we are kind of sticking around around five and a half dollar mark and let's actually look at EOS BTC because that's what matters on uh, how the relative performance is as you can see that uh, we are forming pretty good uh, uh, bottom here for EOS BTC and it's kind of going up from here uh, which is looking very good momentum I hope that uh, now we can stabilize around this uh, five and a half dollar mark and uh, maybe create a base and go into six dollars so let's go to the news now so what's really going on so I think there's a lot of stuff happening uh, Dan Larimer had to come out with the URI write-up and then there are a lot of people who got uh, upset about it uh, being a socialist kind of a model uh, so he clarified that it is not really uh, what people are still taking it as a first draft so he's explained how this is really all about uh, creating the resource uh, allocations how you can spread the wealth and uh, it's not necessarily a pure plain socialistic move but I would recommend you to go read these I think he's uh, very passionate about it it looks like and it's not a bad idea I think it's, it's a very good uh, forward thinking but uh, if you're talking about EOS I don't think it's happening anytime soon because it's a lot of challenges to implement such kind of a model so it's these are still early days I think uh, so do not uh, start worrying about it I think let's uh, let's try to understand it let's engage in a dialogue and we will know soon know what's going on now what is exciting though some let's go to the other news what is happening so bank Orex has announced that uh, now they are enabling cross blockchain uh, liquidity so if you already know that Bancor is a liquidity network uh, they help create a model which is uh, which allows you to trade your tokens uh, uh, with a certain level of liquidity which Bancor provides and uh, they highlighted 
very very interesting things when they are saying that now they are opening up uh, um, uh, this EOS uh, blockchain based uh, liquidity network and what they are highlighting is as we all know it's a one second transactions because uh, it's super fast network no transaction fees and the biggest thing which I think is uh, highlighted here is the no front running because EOS transactions happen so fast and they are free so you are not really pushing your transactions ahead of somebody else by using higher gas fees this was an issue with ethereum which i think bankor is highlighting that how eos is solving it so this is going to be great for eos i think because uh, bankor is a protocol which a lot of people are ap applauding and a lot of people are planning to use and with this kind of uh, cross blockchain liquidity i think once people start seeing these benefits of eos maybe it will become like a big big market share of providing liquidity to all the tokens uh, using eos network so that is uh, one of the great thing i would say which is happening in eos uh, what else uh, is the news i would say that one thing is uh, which is a great article i came across i wanted to highlight is uh, what scatter is doing i think if you have not yet realized the importance of scatter and how well um, it is really integrated right now and how it's really enabling your ecosystem you should read this article and what is the future of uh, uh, blockchain applications so this is a nathan james article on um, how you can really integrate scatter or the ui of blockchain where you do not have to worry about uh, the keys and all the complications around blockchain and what really you can do with the uh, kind of a simplifying UIs and if you are a developer if you are looking to build apps uh, I think everybody should read this article I will post a link again but basically what in the summary is that um, the blockchain U UI is not what you should think about you should always think about a real world UI and how EOS is enabling that and how scatter as a tool is really enabling people to interact with real apps and that's what is actually leading this right means if you look at this uh, apps if you look at number of users like thousands of users on many of these apps this is not possible in any other blockchain and uh, this is what i keep highlighting i think now there is a of course there are a lot of gambling sites and now there's another candidate which is on the top which is ite dice i'll talk about it in a little while but there are some other games there are decentralized exchanges like new dex dex eos lot of other stuff like south south x and then i'm very happy to see karma uh, coming up uh, um, i think some people are asking me why tribe is not here because tribe is actually doing very well i think it's a matter of integrating that with the uh, with this uh, dap radar i think they are slowly adding all the eos uh, apps so i will go investigate into it but i think overall as you can see there are many new apps coming every day and uh, the number of users is amazing the number of transactions is pretty good and look at the volumes in terms of money uh, these are like huge money uh, being transacted on uh, which is great success of eos right now now let's get back to the another top dice app so this is a new app i think uh, if you have not uh, tried it of course i don't recommend gambling so i'm what i'm trying to show you is uh, it's a pretty interesting ui and they have some interesting stuff like you can of course do uh, big means you can go higher than 50 or small means you can go lower than 50 and then they have this uh, another bowsy i don't know exactly what that means but what it means is that if you have like uh, 11 22 33 or something then you get actually 10x payout and uh, so they are trying to create be innovative with dice while it is the same one 200 um, so if and the good thing is that you can play with ite coin so they are dropping ite coin to people randomly i don't know if all of you got it but uh, i'm seeing that they're dropping some coins so do not bet your eos use their coins if you want to do it and uh, definitely we will share the referral code if you want to get bonuses and uh, uh, also trying to um, just enjoy these games so what i uh, we always say that enjoy responsibly do not whitelist every move because that really makes you uh, susceptible to this kind of uh, big losses if you um, get sucked into these gambling sites but anyway coming back to the overall progress i think a lot of good apps lot of uh, lot of engagement we are seeing from people um, then of course now let's go back to the discussion around london so london hackathon is uh, starting a lot of people i know and in the us community are already there uh, there is a lot of excitement because of uh, brendan bloomer and uh, dan larimer being there they already talked about a lot of good stuff they are going to be showcasing so uh, not only hackathon there is a blockchain live event after that in london and uh, there's a lot of promise we are expecting a lot of showcasing so they talked about many many different technologies they are showing so right now they are not really confirming that they will be announcing something as a immediately available but they will showcasing eos capabilities i think that is another bullish sign for eos so it's great i think all of us are very excited about what comes out of there and uh, 
one more thing is while all this thing is happening so dan larimer posted um, the latest update on eos io that is a new software upgrade and that enables twice the performance so this uh, is what i posted uh, earlier today this is amazing like while we are all uh, busy uh, interacting with the blockchain live doing thousands and millions of transactions uh, while doing nights we are playing dice bingo whatnot all kind of games we are doing a lot of other stuff uh, and what is happening is it's automatically getting upgraded in the background and your eos network is getting faster and faster this is the kind of thing which people miss out not only the technology is uh, great in terms of what is providing it's continuously upgrading and uh, that is something which uh, is really useful um, to like as the more and more apps come along i think we need uh, eos network to keep scaling and that is really happening while we are having these hackathons while we are having so many other events so which is really really great news and i hope that uh, people are realizing so one more thing is eos dac this is another exchange which was promised it was originally planned to be first in exchange but i think they a lot of people have already started decentralized exchanges uh, so they are trying to bring people by giving some free airdrops if you register so if you want to register do that uh, they are just giving four kind of tokens uh, for free so anyway i think uh, this is all uh, um, progress happening i think all the people who have already been working on these projects are making progress so which is a great news so i hope i think all of you are uh, really happy with the progress do share your feedback and comments and do not forget to come to scaling blockchain event because uh, we are really building a huge huge event here where a lot of eos community members will be there and uh, this is a great place to network not and uh, learn from uh, these great minds and I, as i talked about in the previous video eos community means i have been interacting with a lot of other projects in blockchain world but eos community is such amazing people um, that is what really matters and that is why eos is getting stronger it's not just the technology it's about the people who are behind it now um, so we started in this because of dan larimer but i'm now getting more and more comfortable in this technology because the kind of teams i'm seeing coming along uh, and uh, we will keep continuing talking to them i will keep bringing some interviews to you so as uh, i remember that uh, uh, we are also doing this uh, blockchain focus series so we will keep bringing those to you while we are continuously building some education uh, for all of you viewers as well as uh, bringing you closer to the community to closer to the eos world so thank you for um, all the appreciation please like this video and share it if you like the content and uh, uh, let us know your feedback thank you bye bye